AC network. Oxygen, about 15% of volume. Carbon dioxide, about 600 parts per million, about 1.5 times pre-industrial. Mean temperature, about 16 degrees centigrade, about 3 degrees above modern. Grassland expansions, forest reductions, ice caps in the southern hemisphere, grazing animals, like Marichippus, Alti Camelus, Mammoth, Whales, Carnivores, like early dogs, Giant Sloth, Apes, Anthropoids, like Dryopithecus, Cevapithecus, Pliopithecus. Pliocene Network Oxygen, about 21% of volume, similar to modern carbon dioxide. About 300 parts per million. Nearly pre-industrial. Mean temperature. About 13 degrees centigrade. Similar to modern. On the macro scale plate tectonics are similar to modern patterns. Important differences were more local. South America is connected to North America via Panama. The Atlantic began to cool because of the east-west current interruption. The Mediterranean formed in Europe. A land bridge began to develop between Alaska and Asia. Later in the period climates became cooler and drier. Ice caps formed at the poles. Flora. Fewer tropicals. More deciduous forests, conifers and polewoods tundra. Further expansion of grasslands, fauna. Most species became similar to modern. Herbivores enlarged. Pliohippus, Stegodon, Mastodon, Agriotherium, Amphysian. First hominids, Australopithecines. <coughs> The dawning of humanity. The early evolution of humans began. They were scavengers, bipedal, and occasional hunters. They had customs, communications, food sharing, and a division of labor. They began to be meaters and used less time in grazing because of high meat calories. This resulted in greater territoriality. Hello there. I am Lucius Dryopithecus. I am just pretending to talk. I will be your ancestor for all of humanity in the time to come. Cheers.